This is everything Chrono, Crypto.com's DeFi blockchain. I'm going to show you guys how to swap, bridge, stake, and farm. And then I'm going to show you guys how I find gems on the Chrono's blockchain. And then we're going to go into a Crow price prediction. Let's get right into it. <laughs> for checking out the channel every day we put out a new video about cryptocurrency education markets giveaways and more make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any content now let's go to the moon briefly go over Kronos and then we'll dive right into their ecosystem so Kronos chain get instant DAP portability with EVM support scale your projects if you're looking to build on Kronos it's easily portable funding they're giving up to a million dollars in ecosystem grants they're helping with marketing and giving you support where you need it so if you want to build a project maybe Kronos blockchain is for you and their user base access to our rapidly growing global user base of over 10 million Honestly, Crypto.com's marketing is A1, one of the largest growing crypto apps, I think just apps in general, and their user base is nuts, and it's very user-friendly. So why Kronos? EVM compatible, scalable, interoperable, proof of authority, and open source. So I'm going to show you guys how to add Kronos to your MetaMask so we can start rolling. Go to chainlist.org and we'll type in Kronos mainnet and then let's add that to our wallet. So we need to connect our wallet and I've already done so, so it's not popping up. So you can see I've added the Crow, uh, Kronos network and I already have two Crow in my wallet. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. If you want to buy Crow off a centralized exchange, you can do so. Go to CoinMarketCap, you can see all the exchanges that Crow is trading on. They may not be able to send it to the Kronos blockchain as of yet, so I'm gonna show you guys how to bridge. And let's take a quick look right now. So there is about 30 billion uh, total crow max supply, and there's about 25 billion circulating right now. Um, let's go into the crypto.com Twitter. So I wanted to share with you guys before we dive into their ecosystem, crypto.com's Twitter, they have a bunch of giveaways that you guys can enter. So enter the crypto.com arena tickets giveaway, you can watch some basketball games. And then look at this, we're back with another UFC giveaway, simply trade crow in the crypto.com app for a chance to win. I thought I may as well just share it with you guys honestly. Let's start going into the Kronos ecosystem. I showed you guys how to add it to your wallet. I'm gonna show you how to bridge. I don't use this one right here. I got a better one and it's honestly, it's awesome. It was pretty instant and they put two free Crow in my wallet so I can start making swaps. So this is Kronos.crypto.org uh, slash ecosystem and you can start browsing their ecosystem and looking for coins and DeFi protocols to start using. Another place to look is DeFi Llama. So we're gonna actually pick a protocol, we're gonna use it, we're gonna swap, we're gonna stake, look at their farms, all of that great stuff. And another one is Dex Screener. So I just wanna show you guys different platforms where you can start looking at all the different tokens on the Kronos blockchain. So uh, DeFi Llama is great to show you actual working protocols with money locked into them. So you can see the total value locked on the Kronos network right now is $1.7 billion. Actually pretty impressive. Let's keep going. You have Dex Screener right here and then it'll show you all the DEXs as well. We're about to hop on one. And then of course you have DEX tools where you can come here, go to Kronos, and then you can see all the hot pairs um, that are being traded. And you can actually check out their graphs. You can trade, you can verify all the info, you can check out all the last trades and all that great stuff. So look at this coin right here. It's literally snapping. This, and. I love finding new coins on new uh, blockchains. It provides you awesome opportunities. This just literally snapped and this is on the Kronos network. So this is how to bridge. I'm gonna post this link below, the Evo DeFi bridge. I bridged from Binance Smart Chain and I'm gonna switch just for a second to the Kronos chain. And then I switched some, I, uh, 
bridge some stable coins and then you can see right here we send you two bonus crow with every transaction i actually had a hard time finding where to buy crow i showed you guys on coin market cap how to do so but i don't have a lot of these centralized accounts so i used this and it was super instant super quick and honestly the fees were pretty minimal and i got some crow and i'll show you guys and we're ready to rock so now that I have Crow, I'm gonna switch over to the mainnet beta again. You can see the Crow is loaded here. And now we're gonna go to DeFi Llama and we're gonna pick a protocol. So the number one protocol right here with a billion dollars locked up is VVS Finance. It's one of the largest ones. And then we're gonna check Krona Swap. These are the two that I am going to use right now. So let's start with VVS and let's check out their decks. So on VVS, they have this awesome thing, which is an IGO, and I'm gonna share that with you guys just after we make a swap. So now we're gonna go ahead and make a swap. We have two crow and we have some USDT, I believe. Yes, we have some USDT. So we are gonna switch maybe 50% of that into more crow. So let's enable that. And this is actually the first transaction I'm making on this deck. So 10 cents, a lot cheaper than Ethereum. And let's see how quick this uh, confirms. I wanna see the speed as well. 10 cents, honestly, way cheaper than Ethereum. Speed isn't as impressive as other networks, still decent. Um, so approved, and now let me swap this. Okay, awesome, let me swap this now. And there we go. So that is our first swap together on the Kronos blockchain. You can come to earn here. You can look at farms and mines. We'll look at both. So this is single staking with one token only. You can stake VVS, their native token, or you can and you can actually earn single, and I'm gonna go into that, that's from their IGO, from staking their token. So let's go into the farms actually, and I wanted to show you guys a pretty awesome pair um, that I like to farm to stables. So USDC and USDT, that's 9%. In my last video, I showed you guys Orion at 15%. So to all the trouble to get onto the Crow network and you know bridge the money, I just probably stuff it on the Orion network. This is the IGO initial gem offering. So if you wanna get yourself exposed to new tokens on the Kronos blockchain, you can come here and you can start staking your LPs to earn more uh, tokens. So this one just ended, this is single finance. All you had to do is stake your LP tokens. So you can see right here, you stake your LP and then you earn single and then it could explode um, or you can hodl or you can use the single tokens across their ecosystem. So let's just check out their dashboard. Uh, nothing crazy here, earn. Let's go to another protocol, something we can actually stake, um, and that's Chronoswap. So let's go ahead on Chronoswap and let's go to their website. And you can check here as well, they have an IFO. So instead of initial gem offerings, they have initial farm offerings. So something very similar where you're staking your chrono and you can see at an awesome APY as well. Usually these native tokens for these DeFi protocols, they have so much sell pressure, so it's usually not worth it to buy them, but earning them is a different story. You can see that we had an audit done by Certix. So let's go to the swap as well. Let's check out the farm actually, because I wanna see if we can do a live, uh, provide liquidity live together right now. And this is what I'm kind of looking at, USDT and BUSD, 15.76, that's pretty decent. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanna see if there's some sort of minimum that we have to do that uh, with. If not, I'll do 100 and $100. So let's get a, go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna enable the BUSD and USDT uh, farm right here. Let's go back to this. Uh, let's go back to the swap because I have some crow. I have some USDT, and so I have 127 here. I was gonna do BUSD, right? So BUSD, and let me do crow, and I want a hundred dollars in BUSD. Let's swap that, and then we're gonna go ahead and farm it. We're gonna earn some awesome dollars. So let's go and farm. 
And which was that? The BUSD, the stablecoin pair. Those are my favorite, these stablecoin pairs. So BUSD in USDT, let's stake the LP. Um, I'm going to have to create an LP actually first. So let's go here. Let's go liquidity. Let's make a pair. So add liquidity. We are going to do BUSD and we are going to do USDT max on both. Very cheap. Honestly, like this type of playing around and testing and jumping in farms and things like that, you can't do that on the Ethereum network unless you're using large amounts of capital because you're paying so much money in gas fees, unlocking and um, enabling and all that great stuff. So you are the first liquidity provider. The ratio of tokens you add will set the price of this pool. Once you're happy with the rate, click supply to review. Wow, I'm the first liquidity provider. 100 and 100 we're going to supply that confirm supply and let's get it so after we have our lp tokens let's add that to our metamask we can now go to the farm and stake that so our stable coin pair right here busd and usdt we're going to stake we have a little bit but it's awesome so annual roi at these current rates what's up guys Volin. so let's go ahead and do this and this shit compounds Awesome, so that confirmed and now you can see over here we can actually start harvesting our rewards when they start coming through. So we just showed you guys how to get your tokens from a different network using the bridge onto the Kronos uh, network, how to swap, how to provide liquidity, how to stake that liquidity and you can actually join the IFOs or the IGOs on VVS Finance and then you can start earning some new tokens on the Kronos blockchain and hopefully they explode. So I think that's pretty much it covering the ecosystem. Also, I wanted to touch on NFTs. This is Abyssu's Bay Marketplace and it is one of the largest Chrono um, NFT marketplaces as of right now. And you can see the volume, sales, and then you can actually buy some NFTs. Figured I'd add that in here as well as NFTs are exploding. So. Let's get to the most important thing that I think a lot of you guys really care about, and that is the Crow price prediction. Crow has had a decent pullback from all-time highs. I want to see that it's pulled back about 80% from all-time highs, and that's kind of normal if we're looking at previous price action. So you can see here on one of its pullbacks, 71%, and then another pullback, I'll take it from the high here to the bottom, it was about 70%. Maybe we had an Astro pullback here. Given the market sentiment we were seeing right now, given that equities and stock markets are pulling us back. So let's go into a possible price prediction and I'm gonna give you guys my target. I'm gonna use the two week, uh, look at the two week time frame. take it from this higher low right here to this higher high, so my point A to B, you can see that we're retraced and we're slowly coming in down into the 78.6 region. My target, my ultimate target, if we continue in a bull market, is uh, $2.50. The first target, honestly, would be $1.50, and then we can add a dollar from there. So here's a few things to look out for before we get to this. Given that we are in a very soft spot in the market, we can see a lot more dump. This 70% pullback and pretty much both 70%, 70%, we're seeing 80% here. Like I said, given the sentiment of the market, we can actually see further drawdown. So if I'm looking at pretty decent support areas, this would be it right here. You can see we actually tried to break above and we got rejected. We tried to break above. We had some fake outs right here, but ultimately we got rejected. We tried to break out here and then we actually broke out and this was a huge run up. And you can see now if we come to test this prior resistance, it would be turned into a support. That's change of polarity. These are usually some of the best setups in my opinion. It gives you awesome uh, confluence and then you can wait for some variation, you know, bullish candlesticks or any type of bullish trading setup to take that long here. You can wait for it to kind of clear and make a bottom before you jump in. So 
I'm not sure when it will reach that $2.50. My price prediction is $2.50. It's hard for me to say we're going to go right now just because where we are in this market, you have the Fed meeting tomorrow um, and it could really drag us down. So as I said, worst case scenario, we come here and we start dragging on this line. Worst case scenario is we break down we get rejected and we keep coming down. This would be a kind of exit and I would be out and I'd have to wait for it to reclaim this area um, for us to start talking about all time highs again. But if we bounce and markets continue moving upwards for 2020, there's two things I'm looking at. I'm seeing an immediate bounce off this moving average and you can see the last times we came to this moving average, um, we kind of dip right under. So we dipped right under here, we reclaimed and went up. This time we kind of grinded on it. So are we gonna do the same thing? Are we gonna grind on this moving average? Are we gonna slightly dip under as well? and then explode. So this would be an awesome buying area on this support just around the moving average. This gives me more confirmation that we're, we're bouncing off a moving average. We're bouncing off a heavy um, support, resistance turn support, and then I'm looking for that $2.50 area. Given the amount of marketing crypto.com does and all the users they're onboarding, honestly, if the market continues, also given the fact that we are about 80% from highs, I think that this could reclaim back um, pretty quickly to its all time high, and then we'll start working our way to the $2.50 mark. So I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you want us to go over any other blockchain or token, um, just post it below and I'll see you guys tomorrow.